Nigerian British Chamber of Commerce is a 41-year-old uh, organization, and uh, it actually started uh, as a friendly uh, chat over lunch uh, between uh, the late chief uh, Rifaja Miroko and the then uh, general manager or managing director, as it then was, of the British Caledonian Airways. And uh, so it was like, uh, okay, a lot of good things are happening. So how do we formalize our relationship and be able to make sure that uh, we have a platform for bilateral commerce and trade relationship between the two countries? So that was the beginning. 40 years on, things had really been very good. There's been a lot of uh, opportunities. And uh, recently now, in the last one year, part of what we have also been able to do is to get into the British Chambers of uh, Commerce affiliation. And uh, this chamber exposes us to 52 Chambers of Commerce. Beyond that, we have also got into the network of the Council of uh, Businesses of uh, Europe. And this gives us a uh, digital and online B2B connection. So our members now will have opportunity just to reach out to the Secretariat for whatever they request. Uh, could it be partnership, could it be type of services or products, you know, or the one market outlet. And then the uh, Secretariat can help to link them up with those who can provide them with their services on that co-platform. Well, the NBCC is um, designed to be an enabler of business relations uh, between Nigeria and Britain, but it goes even beyond that. It's also an enabler for many Nigerian businesses locally, uh, improving their networking, improving their relationship with one another, uh, bringing them into contact with what is really happening in the economy uh, through advocacy, through various um, you know, business programs and linking them with businesses in other parts of the world, particularly you know, through Britain. That was the whole idea of, um, of uh, the Nigerian uh, British um, uh, Chamber of Commerce. Don't forget that at the time it was formed, 41 years ago, the relationship between Nigeria and Britain was very, very strong. It's gone through all kinds of um, you know, phases you know, since then. Uh, but there's no doubt that the relationship between Nigeria and Britain will always be strong. Our activities are targeted towards impacting the over 240 members of the Chamber who run their businesses here and who also have various partnerships in the UK. Our major program is our annual trade mission, which typically happens in June of each year. So we, during that program, we actually have about 30 or so delegates from the Chamber here who go across with us to the UK and we have various events, we have a conference, we have various business meetings and business festivals where they meet with UK businesses who are also looking for people to partner with from Nigeria. The other activities that we do locally include our, our monthly breakfast meetings. Those are meetings that are targeted at creating discourse around topical issues that we believe are important for business within the country as well as even outside. So we picked speakers who are subject matter experts in those areas, as well as a panel of people who have in-depth knowledge and expertise in whatever topic it is that we're dealing with. And we have them speak to the topic, and of course they're speaking to an audience of business decision makers, as well as influential people in the marketplace. A lot of the programs that we do, we typically have to do at various venues all around, all around Lagos. Having the NBCC Plaza built would really facilitate the vision of the Nigerian British Chamber of Commerce. That one location would afford us the opportunity to one, provide a place where British businesses that are coming into the country for the very first time can have a place to incubate. They don't have to worry about looking for office space. They don't have to worry about rent. They don't have to worry about getting different facilities and logistics that will enable them to start business. We'll be here in the NBCC Plaza, providing for them a one-stop shop as well as a hand-holding to help them to get established in the country. Of course, that also affords our own members the opportunity to interact with these businesses, to provide whatever services it is that they're looking for. In addition to that, it would also serve as a place where we can have training. We'll be able to do a lot more training that will have a lot more impact on our members. 
the plaza was um, conceived many years ago, maybe about 20 years ago or more, by some of our founding fathers. And the whole idea was to have our own premises, which would be like the center of Anglo-Nigerian trade in, uh, in the country, uh, which can house some, some British businesses, even if it's on a temporary basis, uh, a place they can operate from. And many Nigerian businesses too that are doing business with, uh, with Britain. Uh, it was designed to be in the uh, business district and that is where we are um, so that we can relate well you know, with, the, with, the, uh, with the community and can serve their, their interests. The design was done by architect Awagu um, in a company and um, after many years we finally got to uh, Foundation Lane. That was on the 25th of June in uh, 2015 that the foundation lane was done. There was um, Governor Ambody, who was represented by his uh, deputy, Mr. Adebole, as uh, Chief Kersintin Adebutu uh, of um, Kersintin Adebutu Foundation, uh, who is a real business guru, and uh, Chief Adekunle Ojora, who is literally was uh, the founding secretary of the chamber and he's uh, now a patron, and myself as uh, the then president of the chamber. You know, we have uh, consolidated the human capital. We now have a very solid team working with us, and we have also put our physical infrastructure in place. Uh, the NBCC Plaza is standing now, and uh, we're just at the finishing stages, and we really look forward to all hands being on deck, because again, really, uh, by the time we finish the, uh, the plaza, we're dedicating part of it for business incubation, whether Nigerian businesses or British businesses. We want to be able to bath businesses and help them with an MSME clinic in the Secretariat. So things that people ordinarily will not have been able to understand in terms of regulation, in terms of things they need to do, hand-holding, prepare the businesses for funding, and the British businesses that are coming, help them through regulations, help them through all that they will require, the processes, and the kind of professional support that they will require in Nigeria to define their feet. So because of that, we'd like to ask that you support us. Support the vision, support what we're trying to do. Support your businesses as well to succeed because if the NBCC succeeds, it means that your business has succeeded because our vision is to get your business to succeed. <laughs>